Well, hello there, all my friends on the interwebs who love adventures. I am Doc Eon. It's a Monday, and I'm here to ramble. Today is Monday the 8th of April, 2024. I have finished four minis. These are the four, the last in my sort of Bronze Age project. Uh, for, for now, <clears throat> the Ancients uh, that I've done. Uh, these are all from Reaper Miniatures. And, well, I mean, two of them don't have any metal on them at all. This shaman and this lady. Um, but this one has sort of a, a bronze axe, and this also has some bronze stuff on her. And I think they turn out nicely. And it's a, it's a step up from doing one mini a, a week. And it's actually... <clears throat> I've stepped up even more from that, but you'll see that uh, in a minute. Uh, yeah, these are, oops, like perfectly fine tabletop quality minis, and I am happy with that. So let's move on to works in progress. So anyway, moving on from the Bronze Age to the Iron Age, we have these kind of Viking characters from Red Box minis. And as you can see, there's quite a lot done on them. <clears throat> I would call these at least 75% done, if not, in some cases, 85%. Very, very close to being finished, and they will definitely be done by next week. So, <clears throat> I'm promising uh, by next Monday a minimum of six finished miniatures. So, stepping up the pace even more. Uh, now, what else is in the pipeline, you ask? Well... We can move on rapidly to that because, hey, there's not much else to say about these. They're, you know, like, yeah, you'll see them done soon. The new prep is these Heresy sci-fi minis, which have now been cleaned up, based, assembled. Uh, I said I, I might do the Uzi on this guy, but it went with the Desert Eagle for reasons. Uh, this... Left arm was a bit difficult to to attach properly. It looks it looks a little odd, but oh well. He's running arms stretched out. Uh, what else needed assembly? Okay, so yeah, the knife hand on this lady. I had to go on. That was not any particular difficulty. <clears throat> I found um, pinning to these uh, 3D printed bases has its own challenges. Um, wh when I'm drilling into them, if I'm using my normal uh, fine drill, the one, the one that's the same uh, diameter as a brass rod like this, it's fine. I if I want to go uh, a bit wider, this drill bit, which is the one I usually use when, when I'm simply trimming down tabs and not, uh, not uh, literally pinning, uh, this one doesn't this one isn't very sharp and it doesn't bite enough for the hard material that that uh, the the, uh, the PLA so that's a little tricky uh, it, it simply meant that I've had to trim down the tabs even more than usual to get thinner and I mean for for, for guys like this who have such broad feet I could have taken off the tabs completely and just used used the brass rod to pin uh that's an extra step so i you know avoided it in this case but you know it's in the future it's possible to do it that way um so yeah it's it's um it's just a question of priming them i haven't gotten around to that yet but i will do very soon and uh yeah you you will see some paint on these by next week maybe even a few of them might be finished Fingers crossed. We'll see. We'll see. So, of course, I'm going to need some new projects. And I thought I'd start up these. We have some hassle-free minis now. Uh, a sort of mixed assortment of five models that are actually the last of my modern days, the, the metal ones I have from hassle-free. So I'm clearing out my closet a little bit here. 
I still have some fantasy metal minis and I have both fantasy and modern and sci-fi resin minis from, from Hasselfree to go. Um, <clears throat> quite a few of them actually. So, so it's not like I'm going to be running out of projects anytime soon. But anyway, these are all either current or maybe some sort of post-apocalyptic. We have this Chainsaw Kev, maybe he's, he's probably sort of a zombie apocalypse uh, type figure. Uh, and this is sort of urban fantasy, Witch Hazel. It's, she's, she's supposed to be a witch, but she's dressed in kind of a modern day outfit, not, not a fantasy outfit. So there's that. And Eve just has a lot of guns. Lori is an archer. She has a bow and arrows, but but again, dressed modern, not fancy. So yeah, um, we'll get cracking on those. Uh, there's very little assembly. Eve hat here needs some assembly. I need to attach her. I, what is it? The right arm? Are there options? I, I can't quite see. It looks like there might be some options for for which arm to attach. No, actually, no. It's it, both arms need to be attached. So it's both left and right arms. And there's, I don't think there's any options. So I just have to go with the ones that are in there. Anyway, they just need to be glued on. <clears throat> so those you'll see those prepped uh, by next week. And uh, yeah, join me then. Until then, <clears throat> just like, share, subscribe, and you know, click the click the thumbs up, and uh, be back here a week from today. Same date of the week, same channel, same document. But for now, I'm signing.